guys I'm around are awesome. So. Um, honestly, I, no. Honestly, I think I was open to all five. Um, you know, I think I can play all five, and wherever they want me at, that's where I'm going to be at on the field. So. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. This time last year. Um, it's a great question. I, I, I would say I gained about like. 12 to 14 pounds. I think I'm winning like 308, 309 every day. So. It's probably more the strength yeah, than, yeah. than the weight, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Get into that a little bit. Just how yeah, I mean, you? Coach Mick's doing a great job. I mean, that's what this uh, winner is for, is to get stronger and faster. Um, you don't want to gain too much weight because you want to keep your mobility and be able to have that speed still. So I'm at a pretty good weight right now where I can still maneuver very well and I'm very versatile still. So yeah. A long time with offensive line, but it takes a while for him to get on the field. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I still got a long way to go with my development. I'd say um, I'm working that every day. Like I'm through practice ten or practice nine now, and you know, I got to go in and watch all that to see what I need to work on for practice ten. So that's really where I'm at right now. It's just in the spring. Well, we've seen pretty of freshmen play that bison role. That's true, like Donovan did it. Yeah. Josh Brown was a freshman, but he did it the next year they're starters. You did it last year. What about that role maybe prepares you to be ready to take on a full-time role in next year? Yeah, um, I think it prepares me well. Um, I was really blessed with the opportunity to be able to step into that position and uh, see the field and just see the limelight, honestly. Not only just the field, but going to the away games, going to those atmospheres. And um, I think that helps me out. Um, it puts me in a good position for this year to just – uh, be able to contend for that job. What about your skill set and athleticism makes you a good fit at guard? Um, I think it's a lot. I think my, my weight, my just my height is more of a guard height um, when I'm fast on my feet and I just need to get used to the technique right now because I'm still sometimes like basketball. I want to yeah. be on that just like defend, but you know, you got to stay stay square and stuff a lot. It's more so. aggressive. Exactly, yeah. What is it about your athleticism? Is that just called you a freak athlete? What do you think when you hear that? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. I mean, I, don't, they, I feel like these two could answer that more than me right now. I think KJ and Hero could answer that. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say about that. What do you guys think? What makes him a freak in there on the interior of the guard? Hey, you know, I go against him every day. You know, this man is strong, athletic. I'm talking about like you got the basketball feet. Like it's not like you can just do an inside move. He recovers really fast. Like just the overall strength that he has. And he got the grit in him. Like, he doesn't give up on a play. And like you said, he's going to go in there and watch the film. And he's doing that every day, getting better. And you can see it on the field. Like From practice one to now practice nine, you can see the improvement every day. Hero, can you just follow us around all the interviews? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a coach, man. You do so. sound like a coach. One day. Chip Kelly's influence changed your mind about maybe like the idea of tackle versus guard. Yeah. Because obviously his offensive predilection is for like yeah. the offensive line play. That's um I would I would say maybe I don't know but I mean when I when I first heard he got the job I was really excited because I'm one of those guys who's the tempo I can run with the tempo you know what I mean I'm <laughs> I've been playing basketball my whole life instead of football and I feel like uh, just the fast paced offense that we're running uh, really fits the guys we have right now and I'm really excited for that so I know you can throw a football like 65 yards <laughs> but can you kick a football 75 yards like Lincoln just no. I Probably for Lincoln. What was your question? How is your uh, your roommate at the view? He's he's a blessing, man. I can't complain. Um, he's a great guy. What's his name? His name's Lincoln. <laughs> Keen hose. That's weird. <laughs> who's cleaner? Oh, who's cleaner? I think we're both really yeah. clean. That's why we kind of picked each other as roommates because we're very clean and we don't like our rooms really messy. Such a political answer. Yeah. Well, it's true though. I mean, it's, it's the truth. They're both pretty clean, so. Luke, are you still cross-training at tackle some, or have you just been all guard this spring? Uh, so far, I've been all guard. Um, I really don't know. Like I said, I'm taking it practice by practice. I could end up being back at tackle. I could not, but you know, I'm just really focused in on this past practice and the next one. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, that means a lot. Um, you know, you put a lot of work in to play here, and it's been a dream just from being an Ohio kid. And from an Ohio kid's perspective, it's. I mean, that's the biggest wish possible, I would, I would say. That's, it'd be pretty cool. What was it like just last year, first game, getting on the field for the first time as a Buckeye? It didn't, like, this is going to be a weird answer, but it didn't feel like I was playing a game yet, if that makes sense. Like, it, 
I was pretty locked in. I felt like just no anxiousness, no stress, no nothing really. I just went in that first game and was like, shoot, I'm here now. It's time to roll, you know? It didn't really hit me. I was like, it didn't even hit me after. I was like, my mom was like, what'd you feel during this? Like getting out there at Indiana, I was just like, honestly, I don't know. I, I felt less nervous than I did in high school. And that makes no sense. What's the guy who's blind to start? What is it? What have you seen though from Austin and Josh? Um, a lot. I mean, I'm learning from Josh and Austin. I think Fryer's been one of my biggest role models here. He's my bigger, big brother when I first came in. You're talking about Padilla? Yeah. Oh, Austin. Padilla. Okay. Yeah. yeah no. Like four yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Padilla and Austin. Those are my guys, man. I mean, even Miles too. I mean, all three of them. That's those are my roommates, and they're progressing every day as well. And I'm I'm excited to see where they where they can get to, and I'm excited to play on the field with them. Oh yeah, you know it's been really helpful. You know, just keeping my mind just settled and straightforward on the next play. It's a great question. Um, like I said, I mean, the, I just need to stay consistent in my work. I think um, that's the biggest thing for me is just staying consistent and worry about the next play. You hear best five. They want to get the best five. Running with that group of yeah. best five. What does that do? For like, is that, a, is that a confidence boost? Is that a motivator? Like, I don't know. You hear the word yeah. best five. So you're categorized in that right now, year two. What does that mean for you? Yeah, I mean, it motivates me a lot, but it motivates me to go with the twos and threes as well. I mean, one, twos, threes. I was playing with twos and threes today, and I'm, I was having a lot of fun out there. I'm just grinding. I mean, it's just another rep, you know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking of as right now in the spring is I'm getting another rep. It doesn't matter who I'm going against or who I'm playing with. So just just having that extra rep, I mean, it means a lot to have that. We know Ty Lee can tie, obviously. Mm -hmm. Every day, but Hero, Kaden, Jason, all those guys. Oh, yeah. Who is it that gives you some fits that we should, we should probably be talking about? I mean, they're all Thanks, freaks. Josh. I think, I think Jason Josh, Jason Moore's had a really good spring yeah. so far. Um, he's gotten a lot better since he's gotten what here. But I mean, they're all freaks. Coach <laughs> got, Johnson's a great job recruiting the right, okay. the right guys. Not only the right guys on the field, but off the field. I mean, they're just they're teddy bears off the field. If that makes sense, you know, on the field they'll switch they'll switch like that. But they're great they're great kids, and I learn a lot from them every day. Just whether it's maybe in pass protection, I'm leaning too much on my back foot, or I'm not striking, or stuff like that. They're always there to tell me that and to help me get better. Exactly. Exactly. No, I mean, yeah, it definitely is. If it's over and over again, but like you get to the point where you're over that and you're just grinding, man. You know what I mean? You're just trying to get better, and you're you're gonna lose those reps. That's what I struggled with when I first got here. Is just, you know, from when I came from, I was the best, and you don't know it till you know it when you're here. You know, you're playing against guys that are older than you and way more experienced and are a lot better than you, and you're gonna get beat. But you just gotta keep keep getting back up and fighting. Thanks, Luke. All right, yeah. thank you. Luke. Yeah, thank you. Uh, this is nasty. Don't sit on this. Pretty good. Yeah, he is. Um, man, it's hard for me.